This is a little talk about the amateur radio spectrum. Supposing we represent 160 meters as the frequency of this note here, C. 80 meters is an octave higher, double the frequency, half the wavelength. 40 meters, an octave higher still. 20 meters, an octave higher. And 10 meters, an octave higher again. Every time we halve the wavelength, we double the frequency, we go up an octave. So the amateur bands from 160 meters to 10 meters can be represented on the keyboard as this interval. 160, 10. Okay, what's the width of these bands? Well, 1.8 megahertz to 2 megahertz is the 160 meter band and uh, that's represented by about two or three semitones. So it's a semitone. So here are the bands. Fractionally the bandwidths get a bit less as we go up in frequency. Right. What about a dipole antenna? A dipole antenna has a bandwidth 17 or 18% maybe. And 18% uh, is three semitones. One semitone is 6% difference in frequency. So three semitones. So we can see that dipole will cover every amateur radio band within its ordinary natural bandwidth because the amateur radio bands are narrower than the width of a dipole's resonance. Okay, well the antenna I want to talk about primarily in this talk has a maximum frequency that is three times its minimum frequency. So we have an SWR2 bandwidth of 3 to 1 in frequency. So supposing we pop up the 80 meter band point here, three times that frequency is here. So this antenna would cover the 80 meter and the 40 meter band without needing retuning. Let's just demonstrate how much further this is than a dipole. This is a dipole. Well, oh, here's a dipole at uh, 40 meters. And here's this broadband antenna. to the dipole. So we've got a great increase in useful bandwidth from these broadband antennas. End of little lecture.